notations that we're going to use in our lesson today. We're going to be answering word problems involving integrals in finding distance or approximated distance and uh, net change in some word problems of an object moving on a straight line. So we have here vt dt from t1 to t2 which is basically the integral notation for your velocity at, which is equal to s prime of t dt from t1 to t2 which is also the notation for the integral of your rate of change for your position which can also be s of t2 minus s of t1 which gives you the displacement or net change in your positions so these are some integral notations that we are using today in answering problems involving an object moving in a straight line now net change theorem has this notation which is basically finding the integral of a given function to denote that we are getting the integral of the rate of change of an object which is equal to the definite integral of f of x from a through b which is basically f of b minus f of a and this um, area or this particular notation right here is the net change of a moving object in a straight line now here are some notations that we will use in some word problems in the net change theorem for this lesson so we have the rate of change in position given by vt dt from t1 to t2 we have the integral of vt dt from t1 to t2 which is also denoted for the rate of change of volume and sometimes we use this type of notation which is a of t dt from t1 to t2 which is the rate of change of your velocity so this time we're going to uh, be using velocity or you will see velocity in our problems and we're going to find its displacement, rate of change, and net change to uh, some given problems. Let's have our first example. On our first example, there's a particle that moves along a line with velocity function vt equals t squared minus t, where v is measured in meters per second. Now the first question is we need to find the displacement in meters by this particle. Now to find the displacement of this moving particle in a straight line, all we need to do is to find the definite integral of the function vt dt from 0 to 5. Now to find the displacement we will set up our integral notation so we have vt dt from 0 to 5 which is basically t squared minus t dt from 0 to 5 now to be able to evaluate this integral notation you need to know how to perform definite integration which means you need to find the integral of t squared minus t which is t cubed minus all over 3 minus t squared all over 2 from 0 to 5. Now to evaluate this definite integral all you have to do is to substitute your upper limit to your function minus the lower limit substituted to your function and if you perform your definite integral correctly the displacement of this particular object moving in a straight line will be 175 all over 6 meters and this is how we apply the definite integral in answering problems of some particle that's moving in a straight line so this is your integral notation for displacement now to answer letter b we need to find the distance traveled by the particle during the time from 0 to 5 and to answer that we need to use the integral notation again to find its approximated distance based on this function So we need to compute for the distance traveled by the moving object from time 0 to 5. Now before we can measure it, we need to use our sign chart. And to uh, do that, we need to have our critical value for a function t squared minus t. So you just need to find vt equal to 0 or set your v of t function to 0 to find your critical value. So your critical values here will be t equal to 0 and t equal to 1. And to use your sign chart, since you are trying to find the distance traveled of that object from 0 to 5, now you can partition it to 0 to 1 and then 1 to 5 based on our critical value. So what we need to do is to find the sign of our 
vt or our function of velocity between 0 to 1 and 0 and 5. For between 0 and 1, just use the function and replace t by any number in between 0 and 1. I chose 0.5 and it gives me a negative result. So that means my function is negative between 0 and 1. And for the second interval, my v of t, which is t squared minus t, I need to verify its signs. So here I chose 3 for my t and it gives me a positive value. So that means v of t or your velocity is positive between 1 and 5. Now you're doing your sign chart so that you can um, write your integ integral notation from 0 to 1 and for 1 to 5. So for the first integral notation, it's going to be negative because the function here says has a negative sign. So we have negative vt dt from 0 to 1 and you need to perform your definite integral process to find the integral of negative vt dt from 0 to 1 and it will give you negative 1 third minus 1 half. And for the second integral function it's going to be between 1 to 5 and our function is t squared minus t find its antiderivative and you'll get t cubed minus 3 minus t squared all over 2 now evaluate your definite integral by substituting your upper upper limit to the function minus your lower function substituted to your i mean your lower limit substituted to your function and you'll get 175 over 6 minus 1 third minus one third. So you'll have the distance traveled by this moving object to be 29.5 meters using our sign chart and our integral notation.